It may only be April, but we're well past the halfway point in the 2010 Built Ford Tough Series. Last weekend's Nile Invitational marked the 17th event, and there are just 13 left before the World Finals. Hi, I'm Crystal Matthews. Last year at this point, Cody Lostro had already won three events on the season and stood a full 1,300 points above his closest rival. It was a lead he would never relinquish, though J.B. Mooney gave him a run for the money at the end. This year, there are six riders within 1,300 points of the lead. In fact, there are six men within 900 points of the lead, and this weekend's Des Moines Invitational just so happens to have 900 potential points on the line over two days. Right now, the overall lead belongs to Renato Nunez, who covered all four bulls last weekend in Billings, including a big 91 and three quarters on Chicken on a Chain in the Built for Tough Championship round. Nunez has posted far and away the most scores in the 90s this season with eight. He's attempted more bulls than anyone else on tour at 55, and he's covered 62.3% of them. Just 242 points behind him is Travis Briscoe, who came up huge in Billings to win his first event of the year, punctuating it with the second highest score of the season so far, a 93 and a quarter on paycheck. In the past two regular season events, the New Mexico Cowboy has jumped from eighth to second in the world. He's riding at 58%, a full 18 points above his career average. And right behind Briscoe is Austin Meyer, who lost the overall lead this weekend when he went 0 for the weekend. His recent Built for Tough Series slump of four buckoffs in a row is the longest he's gone without a qualified ride, so don't count on it lasting for long. Meyer's just 656 points behind Nunes and could easily make that ground up in Des Moines. Less than a ride behind Meyer, in fourth place overall, is a resurgent J.B. Mooney, who was just 3 for 4 last weekend after a 2 for 12 slump. The two-time reserve champ is feeling better after taking time off during the World Cup and appears poised to make another move to the top of the standings. And to give you an idea of how unstable the top spot has been, keep in mind that Mooney's been there and been bumped out three times this season. Of the top ten riders, though, the two with the highest riding percentages are Guilherme Marchi and Valderon de Loveda, who sit at seventh and eighth in the world. Marchi was only two for three in Billings, but he's 16 for his past 20 going back to Glendale. That puts him at 65% for the season, which is actually higher than his already ridiculously high 63% career average. He's too far off the overall lead to claim it in Des Moines, but at his current rate, it's only a matter of time before he challenges for it. Likewise, Oliveira is pushing a 65% average and seems to be just fine after a week-long absence due to his shoulder injury. He only covered one bull in Billings, but you can expect that to change in Des Moines. It's two days, three rounds, and 900 points in Iowa this weekend, and you can catch the action on Sunday at 4 Eastern on Versus. And it may feel early, but remember that this year's World Finals is just five days and six rounds long, so tickets will be much tougher to get a hold of. Visit unlvtickets.com or call 1-866-PBR-SHOW to reserve yours today. We'll be back next week with a recap of the action in Iowa. Thanks for watching. For the PBR, I'm Crystal Matthews.